Every year on the 24th of March, the Stop TB Partnership and its partners unite to raise public awareness of the devastating health, social and economic impacts of tuberculosis, common in low net TB, and call for an end to this epidemic. This is no different here in Kiribati, where this important occasion is also celebrated across the country, led by the Ministry of Health and Medical Services. Recognizing the various effects of TB, I'm pleased to join this important campaign on behalf of the people and government of Kiribati to support global efforts to eradicate TB and address inherent social impacts. In Kiribati, my government remains committed to ongoing initiatives and interventions to address TB. In addition to conducting holistic community awareness programs, Kiribati is also increasing its TB healthcare activities and treatments throughout the rigorous training of healthcare staff and establishing mobile clinics in identified hotspots, particularly in the capital. There are certain hotspot areas in the country, including densely populated areas now accessing TB healthcare services to ensure that our geographical remoteness does not impede our national efforts in combating TB. We are also conducting out island visits to known hotspot islands. This has resulted in significant decreases of TB cases. For instance, TB notification cases decreased by 6% from 2019 to 2020. It has also resulted in a decrease of incidence rate, falling by 8% from 2019 to 2020. This is a heartening progress, and I commend the efforts of my health agencies and their dedicated workers. People affected by TB often face stigma and discrimination, which can be a barrier to accessing TB healthcare services. Most of those who have TB, more often than not, tend to hide their condition from family members, friends, and colleagues for fear of rejection and being neglected. This is a sad but true reality, including here in Kiribati. Those living with TB should not experience fear of their condition, but rather should feel encouraged to seek help and treatments, and my government continues to address this matter through awareness campaigns. Ultimately, it remains our collective responsibility as governments, as organizations, and as individual members of our global community to create a TB-friendly environment where those living with TB feel welcome and free to seek treatment. The UN Political Declaration on TB included a pledge to provide 15 billion US dollars in annual funding for TB prevention, diagnosis, treatment, care, research, and development. However, less than half of this amount has been delivered to date. Without this funding, global agencies will not be able to create the necessary infrastructure to strengthen the response around the world to airborne infections like COVID-19 and TB. And thus, my government joins collective action by the UN member states and ECHO calls made to development partners to mobilize resources and take action now to reinforce global efforts to tackle tuberculosis worldwide. On the occasion of World TB Day on 24th March 2021, I convey my best wishes to the Stop TB Partnership and everyone around the world celebrating this important event and offer my country's traditional blessings of the Maori, the Roy, or the Tabemo, which means health, peace, and prosperity.